Hi, I'm Elizabeth. Hi, I'm Robert Thespian. Nice to meet you. Likewise. This is a humanoid robot, which means it looks, it talks, and it even acts, well, like a human. So does that mean it could take a human's job like mine? You better believe it. No, I'm only joking, not really. There's no denying robots and automation are increasingly part of our daily lives. Just look around the grocery store or the highway, or in the case of Robo Thespian here, even at the theater. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. The rise of robots has led to some pretty scary warnings about the future of work. The robots will be able to do everything better than us. A recent study found up to 670,000 U.S. jobs were lost to robots between 1990 and 2007, and that number is likely to go up. A widely cited study from 2013 found nearly half of all jobs in the U.S. are in danger of being automated over the next 20 years. Occupations that require repetitive and predictable tasks in transportation, logistics, and administrative support were especially high risk. And just think, robots don't need health benefits, vacation, or even sleep for that matter. But the debate over whether robots will take over all of our jobs is by no means settled. Many economists argue automation will ultimately create new jobs. After all, someone has to program the robots, right? Let's go back to the 1850s, when trains were the most popular mode of transportation. This chart shows the number of locomotive engineers, railroad conductors, and brakemen increasing by nearly 600%. But that growth slowed in the early 1900s. Why? You guessed it, the automobile came along. Car mechanic and repairman jobs surged, even though railroad jobs began to disappear. And some companies say the same thing will happen when robots move into the marketplace. A survey of 20,000 employers from 42 countries found that the IT, customer service, and advanced manufacturing industries will add workers over the next two years as a result of automation. It's hard to imagine that robots could replicate human characteristics like empathy or compassion that are required in many jobs. I mean, would you really want a robot as your nurse, babysitter, or teacher? But even if robots don't take our jobs entirely, research shows they will significantly change day-to-day -day tasks in the workplace. <laughs> this is particularly a problem for lower-skilled workers who aren't able to retrain for new jobs. They might get stuck with lower wages in a world with more robots, and that could make income inequality even worse. These guys are making a lot of things uncertain right now, but one thing that's clear is skills training is required if we hope to get along with friends like them in the workplace. I think we're going to get along just fine. Hey everyone, it's Elizabeth and Robo Thespian here. Thanks so much for watching our video. You can check out more of our videos all the time, including one about universal basic income over here on our YouTube page. While you're at it, leave us some ideas in the comment section and subscribe to our channel. See you later.